Hoosier is his name. Because they take me to church Hoosier. song. There's a new song now out. Hoosier is his name. Hoosier. Hoosier. Like like uh like the like uh the Indiana Hoosiers estate. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we went to the it. Hoosier concert Wednesday. He's in town at the Kia Forum. By my house. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Last night was his last performance. Three sold out shows. Amazing. We were there Wednesday night. Wow. Okay. He had three sold out shows. Wow. Okay. I know he's I know he's that big. That song was huge. I know that song was huge. Uh I, Take Me to Church. Yeah. I didn't know he was big, but I guess he's big. People, you never know. That's the thing about this world is so huge. Yeah. Never. We sold out shows, James, at the Kia. Wow. Okay. Not bad. He's great live. He's got this unique, very distinctive voice. That's what I think it's what it is. Yeah. Um, they use, you know, instruments like the cello and the xylophone and oh, a lot really? of and and it it just was an amazing show. Violin. It was great. Who was the opening act? Oh God, she's fantastic too, and I I forget her name. Um, she she's won a Grammy though. Uh, she's a Caribbean singer. Um, oh, she's not Rihanna. Oh, she's not Rihanna. No, she, <laughs> I definitely No, I I know I know that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Allison Russell, I believe that's her name. Okay, I don't know her. Okay, um, she's awesome. Okay. And they have two duets out together. And of the two, they sang the one that I liked the most. So I was very happy about that. Okay. Yeah. So it was good. So I was, again, in your neighborhood. Yeah. You know, wait for yes. you as we drove by. <laughs> yes. Jeez. How are you, James? You look preoccupied right now. What's going on? Okay, I got it. I'm ready. Okay. You sure? Okay. Yes. I, I, it's just that all of a sudden, for some reason, it's Friday. Thank and God. James is <laughs> thank God. And James has been social this week. So and I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Work, 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 work. I got something in my hair. Okay, I see it. I know I can't get it out. I can't. Oh no, God. it's still there. It's still there. I see it. It's right there. <laughs> Having long hair, Melissa. You don't know. Well, I so desperately need a haircut, James. And my hairstylist broke her ankle. Oh dang. That's not good. She can't stand <laughs> to do your hair. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm your waiting. Your hair is long. Super long. It's very yeah. long. Uh, no, I, uh, and so now all of a sudden I'm in the office. Yes. Uh, and I was like, there's a million emails coming out. I have like interviews that I did and news guys all this stuff. So I'm like, hey, stop it. Be friends. <laughs> no, I am. It's it's hard being social. I'm tired. Oh my God. I'm tired. So I'm tell tired. me about your, your latest trip, though. I want to hear about it. got the canceled trip. because I had something else come up. So it was, it's all good stuff, though. I had something okay. else come up business wise. And okay. as an entrepreneur, folks out there, you have to sometimes make decisions. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it, like, it was between two, it was between two good things. Like, big God was like bad, good. It was like two great things. And I had to make a decision. One was going to bring me more money yeah, than the other. Okay. So I had to go that direction without going into details, obviously, on here. But I, um, so I didn't, and then I'm sad, hardy, hardy if you watch this. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. Um, I also had a family thing I had to take care of too at the same time. So, but, so it, it but it was, but it, it's, it's going to work out in the end. It's going to work out in the end. Um, and I, and I'm just, I'm, ex I'm excited these days. I wake up with excitement because I have such, I have some great irons in the fire. That's the best way to say nice. it. I have some really good stuff. It's like everybody's like, James is finally happening, I guess. Like, you know, maybe it's because I, I've had such a strange couple of years. Um, it could have happened a couple of years ago if I was like, but now I can fully put my attention to it. But at the same time, I'm trying to also have a little bit of a balance and have right. and see friends and do things with friends. And that's it's just harder than it used to was, girl. I'm like. Oh, I'm like tired. I'm like, I don't want to do anything. Um, but then when I'm out, I'm I'm fine. You know how it is. Like when you when you get there, like you get getting there, you're like, uh -huh. then you get there, yes. like, oh, okay, I'm good. It's like, well, okay, I got it. And then next yes. day, you're like, uh -huh. I mean, so I'm drinking this giant coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, yummy. You know. Mm. So have you already been out the door this morning? No. Oh. I, I I literally woke up, did my hair, filmed two videos of my hair products. This is Multicultural Curls by Miss Jessie's. 
Okay. Oh, oh yes, Miss Jessie's. Yes. So my Another. my bounce and behaving hair. It told two friends and so on and so on. You know that for you know that one. That's an oldie but goodie. She told two friends and then she told two friends and yes. so on and so on. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's an old. Let's look it up, folks. An old eighties commercial. Lot here. Um, and uh, and so I just I got this morning and it's actually kind of cold. Like, it is. I, like, I, I love it. Fall's coming, bitches. And um, and so I was like, okay. So I was like, let me take a shower. I said, I'm like making. I said, order me like a, order my Dunkin' Donuts. Good. My mom this morning real quick. So I take care of her, make sure she's okay. And I'm getting now. I'm getting all these emails and texts. I'm like, oh wow, I guess it's I'm back to work. Yes, but I was, but Happy I was Friday. Working. Every day. We don't normally like, shoot on Friday, so this is kind of fun to wake up I, and hang out. With the games. I know. So I'm being social again today. Oh my god, this is a lot for me. I'm going to just something to shut down tomorrow. No. Um, Stop. Don't say that. You know, shut down. Shut down. It's anthem. I'm going to get my cave. No, it's it's. I mean, I like being social, but it's like it's. I just feel like when we were younger, there's just a natural after work. I used to work at I used to work at places after I go to the bar or after you go get something to eat or after I'll see you tonight or you know Friday we plan your Friday yeah. Saturday nights and I just don't I just don't do that anymore. I don't I don't um, I just, I don't do that. And like you you've been, yeah. you've been going to concerts. I mean like you've been literally going to a lot of concerts in the last year. Yes, concerts, being social. Um... It goes through its fits and starts, you know, like uh, going out and meeting the girls for happy hour and dinner and all that fun stuff. And, um, but uh, you know, it's funny you say that because I always look forward to this getting up and and I'm not just saying this to see you, to spend the hour or so that we spend together, usually, you know, every three weeks out of the month and that I get excited about. There's something uh, real about social anxiety because I have it too. And so like you, I'm like, Oh God, I've got to go to this thing, this. And once I get there, I'm like, I am so happy to be here. Right. I just think that set when we're younger, we don't have the responsibilities that we do now. And I think the responsibilities for me weigh on me. And so like at the end of the day, when you think about going out, it's like, Oh, I just want to curl up in my cozy clothes and Sit with less in chemo. <laughs> I want to take my bra off. Yes. Oh, that's a real thing, James. I, 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 <laughs> that is real. So, yeah, but it's like you, I have the same, I think a lot of us have that, that first initial reaction, like, oh, I got to go somewhere. Right. So I'm trying to beat that by finding something that I really am looking forward to. So that doesn't set in. And now I'm not like, forcing myself physically forcing myself to get ready to go somewhere. So I'm trying to find those like, Oh, I'm looking forward to this or, Oh, I want to see that person. And I don't know. It's mind games. I'm playing mind games with myself, James at, at our age at 55 years old. You are. And I mean, I think, and let's see also, I'm going to add, I'm going to add this on there. Cause for me, it is, it is real. Um, it's LA. You're like, okay, is there parking? Where is it again? How long will it take me? When do I? So, okay, folks, here's a little, here's a little backstory. Okay, so my friend Nathan and I haven't seen each other in five years. When we talk, like the pandemic and stuff, we see he's here from Australia. And I know once we get together, it'll be wonderful. It was, it was amazing. We got together, we spent like three hours together. It was amazing. But he goes, okay, I'm in West Hollywood. So, folks, I live in Inglewood. So alone already, that's like 15, 16 mile difference. Not for some people, it's not long, but just just in LA, that's 15 long miles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they said, okay, we'll meet in West Hollywood. Crowded area. So you're thinking, okay, is there parking? Should I lift? What should I do? So it's like, okay. I got it. So we'll be there at 11 30. Okay. I have to get ready. <laughs> Hair, makeup. No, you're ready. So that's an hour. So that's 10 30. Okay. But then it's like, okay, before that, it's like, well, I should leave those. Oh, no. Take a first that. How long will it take me to get there? It said 45 minutes because it was that time of day and whatever. So, okay, so basically an hour. So we say I leave at 10 30, the latest. Get ready. That's 9 30. Right. 
There's like, I can get up at 8.30. I can either lay, like, so you have to you start going backwards. Then if I have to do any small, I had to do a couple of things for work, I got up at 6.30. So I got up at 6.30, took my pills, whatever, all stuff, did some work, and did the whole thing. So I already been up for five hours before I even got to him. Yeah. yeah. So I, and when I got there, yeah, there's no, there's no park there. No, 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 there's no, there's no, there's no, there was crowded as fuck. And then it was like, but the place was cool. The Dialogue Cafe. I, I tell people, I tell everybody you should go there. Sunset in Holloway, across from where the old Tower Records used to was. Oh, yeah. I, like Tower. Now it's called Supreme, some shoe store. Um, but I was like, old Tower Records, I miss you. Um, but it's, it's a great, it's, it was a beautiful Los Angeles morning. It was like 65 degrees and sunny as F. And people were great people watching. It was a mixture of folks. Uh, we're on the hill. So you can look mm -hmm. down and see all of Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, so we all that and great company. Nathan is a great guy. It's a great company. But it was just like, it was like I was already up five hours before I even got there. So that that asked the anxiety and the stuff. And like, just fuck, I'm gonna stay home. I'm not going out. I mean, like, or you stay in bed. You're like, I'm too tired to get up. Like, just like it's any one thing you don't do will mess you up. You will not get there at eleven thirty. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, and I told, I totally get it. The the idea of, and you know, James, of the two of us, you're going to be at your desk staring into your camera, and I'm the one that's still going to be in bed <laughs> texting you. <laughs> so you know it's true when I say this. I was up at 5.30 on Wednesday morning. I um, moderated a, a professional networking group of like 12 of us. So I have responsibility. Take that seriously. Up at 5.30 to be somewhere at 7.30. Get there at 7.30. Have a great meeting. Um, come home, do a full day's work, and then go to the concert. I didn't put my head down on my pillow until midnight. That for me was, I'm still, today's Friday morning, folks. I'm still exhausted <laughs> from my Wednesday, okay? <laughs> and I'm just pushing through it. Like, allergies, <laughs> headache, everything. Just pushing through I, but we got, but we got, to, but we got to add though, Melissa. Just to, to, yeah. For context, also, okay. she lives in the valley, and yeah. she's to my literally my neighbor in Inglewood. That's about yeah. thirty mile difference. Yes, I add that in there. That's I mean, you know. Yes, it is. So we leave at like five thirty. We get to the forum around just before seven, which is perfect. And um, so you're in the car an hour and a half there. Some traffic. And then coming home, it's wide open, but you're like, it's 1130 and I just want to go to bed and you got to drive home. Yes. So I'm still, re I'm still re physically in, in, in recovering from Wednesday. <laughs> no, I, no, I, no, I, I As Friday rolled around and it was you, I'm like, I got to hang out with James this morning. It's all good. Have some coffee, you know, do the best you can with the makeup and the hair and just hang out with my friend. For an hour. No, I get, no, I That's get the it. only thing that got me up out of bed. I'm just honestly yeah. saying, I'd still be sleeping. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know you would. And I, I was like, I was looking at the phone. Going, okay, it's eight twenty-five. Let's see. Did I get a call. Let's see. Was, roll the dice. Roll the dice. I roll the dice. But it was good. No, I get. I totally get it. And that's the thing. It's like when you're in smaller towns or whatever. Like I was, like in Sacramento, everything's five minutes away from each other. And in, in, in Indiana, where I was, everything's five minutes away from each other. This, you don't have to drive that far or get ready like 10 hours early. Just everybody's just yeah. throwing on clothes and they're like, I'll see you. We'll be there in a minute. Like, be there in a minute. That's that is not as not as Southern California. Be there in a minute. That's just not. No. Like, there's hardly no. anything around the corner that I'm I know. I was talking to a client who lived in Los Angeles for a long period of time. And she's a business owner and she's very successful. She moved back to her home state. Um, right to raise a family. And we were talking yesterday and I asked her, do you miss being in LA? And she says, absolutely not. She says, the thing you don't understand, because there was a lot of anxiety for her, like everyone, am I going to miss it? Am I going to miss the big city? Am I going to miss it? And she says, I, I really was afraid that I was going to miss it. She says, I don't miss it at all. What you don't realize is how much stress 
because of the pace of life in LA, how much stress just leaves your body and things are much a slower pace, which is a healthier, you know, environment. So, because that's one of my concerns, like, oh, could I live in a small town somewhere else? And I always feel like anxiety over that. But she's telling me, you know, she adjusted quickly and she's better off for it. And she loves her community because it's a small town community. And I guess it's one of those everyone knows each other for good or bad or uh, yeah. whatever. Hey, so and she's what, happy. Yeah. He's not str- She doesn't have the stress. The pace is much slower. You know, but for folks like us who have lived in big cities all of our lives, basically. Right. You Sacramento, San Francisco, L.A., like your big city guy. Oh, and where, where were you back east? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. So you've always lived in big cities. We don't know anything else. I know. Go visiting small. I've visited small places, but I've never lived. Yeah. In, I never lived yeah, no. yeah. Well, like you said, yeah. being in Clinton, Indiana, and they're like, everybody knows each other. You can pop in real quick. They're like, come on. I got yeah. money on, on the stove. Like. I don't have that. You don't do that in New York, or LA. No. Like, I'm sorry. And none of my stores right now, but some pots. You know, People like, would look at you like, "Are you on drugs?" <laughs> exactly. And do you have offense in the oven? What? <laughs> right. Exactly. Are you on drugs? Do you have any? I mean, it's like that's what. Like, <laughs> but in the middle of those small towns are like, and they just they just, just like, yo, let's let's so stay for dinner. That's like, like I'm like I'll cook, cook. Yeah. Um, so it's like it's really weird. But again. You can pull up to their driveway in front of their house, whatever. Here it's like you're driving for hours of parking, round and round, trying to find parking, round and round, trying to find parking. You're like, oh, my God, I give up. And it's- by the time you get to the front door, you're already stressed out completely. So you're not your best self. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's, just, it's so, I like, I sleep better in small towns. I know I rest well in small towns. Yeah. I get it. Um, but, I, but it's just, it's, but, but there's something comforting about the city. And also, there is something about hearing the lights and the noises and the sirens. I mean, I just, as a part of it, it's kind of like hearing people. Part of me likes knowing that's out there also. Yeah. No, yeah. I get it. I get it. I'm the same way. So, but there is another way of living. There is. So we're talking about all of our anxiety of trying to go from one place to the other in LA. And literally, like, I think it was. Well, Friday, if Monday, I was talking to my client. She's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Well, it's this coffee conversation with James and Melissa. And hold on to your anxieties. Get rid of them. Don't do it. Get rid of them. <laughs> no, it's, it's good to see friends. It is good to be around people. It, it is. You have, you, have, you have to kind of balance yourself out. You can't be a hermit your whole life. No. Um, I'm going to see my friend Flo, our friend Flo on Tuesday. I'm very excited. Nice. I haven't seen him in a month and a half, so I'm very excited. Please so. tell him I say hello. Um, folks, uh, we're here every Monday. Yes, we are. And uh, we appreciate all the support, the views, the listens. We love it. The comments. I guess how you luck our show. We love talking to you. So just grab your coffee and join us as we do this every Monday at Coffee and Conversation. Bye.